Hi guys, my name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Please do hit the subscribe button, it would honestly mean the world to me. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a very requested video, which is going to be about tracks at Erdang. Now, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, you're probably going to be a bit confused what I'm talking about, but I promise you it will all make sense very soon. If you do enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up. It honestly means the world to me. And please leave me a comment down below. And yes, let's just get into the video. Tracks at Erdang. So for you guys that don't know, I'm currently second year at Erdang. I have finished my first term and I'm just about to start my second term. And we have had a term of tracks so most drama schools you go in in first year everyone does the exact same course and comes out at the end in third year however at Erdang it works slightly different in first year everyone comes in and does the exact same training for the whole of first year this is to kind of level everyone out see where everyone's at we get put in sets for all our classes and this just kind of gives all the teachers and also ourselves an idea of where we're at so many people come into drama school saying, I'm a singer. And by the end of first year, they're like, oh my God, no, I'm actually a dancer and vice versa. So first year is a really, really good way just to level everything out and see where everyone's at. So I would say that's how most drama schools work in first year. And then they kind of continue in the same vein in second and third year. Obviously, I don't know about all schools, but for the ones that I've researched, that's how it kind of seems to be. However, in Erdang, we get put into tracks in our second year. So, for tracks, there are three tracks. I'm going to go through the three of them in a bit, but I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview before. So, there's track A, which is triple threat, track C, which is singer actor, and track D, which is dancer, and I'll come back to that later. We are split in tracks within our courses. So, we have a degree course and a diploma course. I have a whole video on degree versus diploma, what are the differences and what are the similarities, which I'll be sure to put in the cards for you because I think that video is really helpful if you're unsure on which course is better for you. For tracks we are split in our courses as I said so degree and diploma are not mixed for tracks so each course has its own track so for example we have diploma track A, C and D and we have degree track A, C and D and they're not mixed together. You're actually only on your tracks for the whole of second year and the first term of third year because the second term of third year is all performance and you go into musicals so actually it's not a huge amount of your training that you're on tracks for obviously the whole of second year is very very important however it's not like it's gonna make or break your training depending on what track you're on when it comes to choosing tracks a lot of you guys message me saying oh i don't know what track to choose and i'm like chill out you do not choose your track before you come in first year as I said, everyone's all together in first year. A lot of people get stressed before coming to Erdang that they're like, oh my God, I need to know what track I want to be on and I've not even started. Chill out, you don't need to know, it's fine. You choose your tracks at the end of first year. So the way choosing tracks works is you will probably have a good idea by the end of first year as what track you want to be on. You might be choosing between two. Most people are either choosing between A and C or A and D. Very rarely would anyone be picking between C and D. But yes, most people have a vague idea of what they want to be on. We get sent out a form and you put your top two choices. So I put top choice was track C and second choice was track A. From memory, I think we had to give a little bit of a reason as to why we thought that was the right track for us. After that, every single person in the year has a meeting with the co-principals, which I think is brilliant. And basically you go in, they have on their form what you want to be, what they think you should be. You have a little discussion and then you choose. It's really, really chill, really nice, but I think it's good that you get to like have that discussion with you and they don't just tell you you must be this track i think i'm going to go through what the three tracks are and then i'm going to go through why i think the track system is good and maybe what i think is not as good about it for track a this is the triple threat program i say it like this because everyone that trains at erdang comes out as a triple threat but that's just what it's named as so this means they have equal hours for dancing and musical theater track a is the course that's most like first year it's very equal and across all the disciplines Track C is what I am on, and this is the singer-actor track. People think when I say singer-actor that we don't dance. Trust me, we still dance. Like, we're at Erdang, we do a lot of dance as well. And we don't get commercial or street or anything like that, though. We just do ballet, tap, jazz, and contemporary, which is obviously still a lot. 
Um, we get an extra acting through song class, we do a whole play. So it kind of evens out between the different tracks as to what you study. Track D is the dancer track. These are people that more want to go into being commercial dancers. They want to dance on world tours. They would also like to maybe dance as ensemble in musicals, for example. And they have street, they have commercial, they have loads more dance classes, but yet they still get a really good amount of MT classes. I would say on all the courses, there's a really good balance. So I've written a little list on my phone of what I think the benefits of the track system are. I always say to everyone, I think it's one of the best things that Erdang does. And I think it is really, really valuable to our training. So I think it's beneficial because it allows you to tailor the training to what you have your strength in. I think it's really important for musical theatre to give you this option as well. Most university, like normal university courses you go to, you maybe do a general course in first year and then you get to specialise in second and third year and that's basically what Erdang have created with the track system. I think also it shows how diverse our year group and Erdang is. The fact that we can have students that are able to be in track C and track D in the same year group and also teachers that can teach across all of those courses is incredible. I think what's really nice is you've come very close with your track. So people worry about Erdang having massive year groups and as much as they're bigger than a lot of drama schools, I wouldn't say it's massive. So I think there's 30 people-ish on track C, 30-ish on track A and 15 about maybe 15 or 18 on track D. So you do become very close with your tracks. Obviously track A and track C are split in half so you don't have a class of 30 people. Um, I think it's really nice you do become close with your track and it's more like those drama schools that have smaller year groups you become like that with your track also if you start a track and you think oh my god I've made a big mistake you can change which is really good like it is flexible and also we're all getting an Erdang training at the end of the day so it's not going to make that dif much difference and I do believe if you're a hard worker you'll do well on whatever track you're on um, also I think you need to not let yourself be like put in a box so as a singer actor you can't be like Oh, I don't dance because there's literally people that are on track C that have gone on to be like a main dance ensemble in a musical There's people on track D that have gone on to cover leads in musicals So honestly, it doesn't like put you in a box, which I think is really good The things that annoy me about tracks is that people stress about it so much and I say this saying it to myself as well I spent so long in first year like literally in my third week being like, oh my god I don't know what track I'm gonna be on. Oh my god. Don't want to be track C. Don't want to be track A. Oh my god I don't know what I want to do Literally, just chill out. If you're watching this and you're coming to Erdang in September, please do not think about tracks until it gets to it. It's literally not gonna make a difference. Just enjoy your first year, enjoy the fact that you're getting an amazing all-round training in first year and deal with tracks when you get to the end. There was so, so much chat around tracks before it even happened, before it was even a thought. And yeah, I just think there's too much stress around it and it's really not that big a deal. The only thing, as much as I said, you get close with your track, it is a shame that it does kind of split up the year group. So there's people that I was super, super close with last year that I had every single class with and I literally have no classes with them now. So that is a bit of a shame. However, we do have certain things together as a year group, like we had choreography this term, for example, and our lectures and stuff. So as much as we are split up, there are a couple of classes where we come together, but I'd say that's maybe one of the things that makes me a bit sad about tracks is that we are all split up. However, we do come together again in third year for musicals and we come together with diplomas, which is very, very exciting. And I literally cannot wait for that. So I think that is everything about tracks. I hope I've covered everything. If I haven't, please do leave me questions in the comments. I'll try and answer them. I've tried to cover what you guys messaged me asking and I think I've got it all. As I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll hopefully see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.